Hey guys, uh, Emin here with Emin HVAC. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting uh, this motor onto this uh, circulator with a Lovejoy coupling, which looks like this. It's a rubber piece that uh, basically just fits in between these two couplings um, just to have the pump circulating. Um, before we do that, the first thing you must ensure is uh, you want to make sure that uh, your uh, motor is leveled with the pump and uh, one way of uh, doing that is uh, you get a straight edge and uh, you gotta make sure that it's level because if it's not leveled that uh, rubber piece the love joy will uh, tear in pieces as you can see here uh, you just put a straight edge here and uh, you gotta make sure that it is aligned um, so that you don't have any issues in the future uh, of course, first thing you do, uh, and actually, we get to this, um, to properly align it, um, you're going to need to get yourself uh, some shims, uh, stainless steel uh, shims. These are not cheap, they are a little pricey, but of course, you know, uh, the customer uh, will pay for it, it will pay for itself. Um, just to show you what this is, can't get a good uh, focus on it. Um, just some of the tools that you're going to need to perform this job. You're gonna need a set of socket. Doesn't matter what brand, make. Uh, as long as you have something that uh, will work properly, you're gonna need yourself a set of Allen keys. Of course, a uh, little socket and a drive. And, uh, and you want to get yourself a spanner, open-end spanner for the tough to reach areas. Uh, maybe some degreaser, uh, just to clean the surface off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up these bolts and make sure that everything is up. Uh, loose and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and align this properly as you can see uh, when I have my straight edge here this is a uh, one good way of uh, uh, knowing uh, identifying whether this is uh, aligned or not and another way of uh, doing it uh, you can take a caliper and uh, basically take a measurement from the top of the uh, coupling all right uh, and uh, then you want to do the same on the bottom. Now, of course, if the bottom does not match the top, you already know that you have an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that this is um, properly um, leveled. And then um, I'll take you guys through the steps of how to uh, put this guy in. It's not hard, very simple. Of course, this is for the guys that have never done it. It's not for you uh, super techs out there that know everything. Um, for the new guys that uh, are just coming into the field or want to find out some information how to install this, uh, this video is uh, made for them. Thank you. Uh, just stay tuned. Um, let me uh, get it going. I also forgot to mention that you're going to also need a, um, a pry bar so that we can lift this uh, uh, pump up. Uh, it doesn't have to be a pry bar. You can use a cheesy screwdriver. Uh, don't use your nice uh, Klein or uh, expensive screwdrivers because you might break the tip. So you can get yourself a, a $10 Craftsman uh, made in the USA pry bar, or you can use any screwdriver uh, that you desire. So guys, uh, what we did here, we went ahead and uh, added some shims on the bottom. Uh, it was a little difficult to do, but uh, it has to be leveled properly. Uh, like I said, the straight edge, as I was told, um, is a good way of checking it and then also what you can do is uh, you can kind of take a measurement from one side of the coupling to the other on top and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the same from the bottom and uh, you should be right there um, you know, if anybody knows a better way of doing this please comment let me know um, like I said every day is a school day that's what Steve Lab says every day is a school day and I learn every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. Once uh, we push this in, you wanna go ahead and uh, tighten up these Allen key. Uh, that's what secures this uh, coupling uh, onto the shaft, secures it properly so that it doesn't move. And then you wanna go ahead and do the same on this side. As you can see right there. So guys, I got all this uh, lined up properly. Um, again, you want to just double check everything, make sure that you are leveled. Um, you want to go all the way around pretty much with the ruler 
make sure that uh, it's pretty much leveled. Um, right there you see the ruler. Just all, all around basically you want to do that. And um, without moving the coupling, that's how you want to just check it and see. So, and I'm level there. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I already secure the nuts, uh, the allen keys, I'm going to secure the bolts on this. And then uh, the last thing you do, you, uh, you want to secure your uh, that protector guard, which you can see on that pump. And uh, that will go right here. And, uh, and that's it guys. I just wanted to show you guys how to properly uh, align the pump and uh, install the love join. Uh, thanks for watching uh, m and um, If you like the video, please subscribe, comment, share, uh, all the good things. Take care, folks.